Paul, what do you think about how big crypto games can become and in what timeline? Are they going to become like the number one form of gaming? Are they going to be like synonymous with gaming overall? Do you agree with Crypto Stash's perspective or do you see something else for the future scope here? Yeah, I think the uh, the growth symmetric that we'll see with crypto gaming, if you look at, you know, just what we've done in terms of our, our own channel, we've started to kind of isolate in on metaverse gaming, just the mechanics of where this market is going. Part of this has been because of some of the sentiment uptake that we analyze on an ongoing basis around mostly the top three to 400 games, but it really boils down to around the top 100. And when I look at that in comparison to say the traditional gaming market, uh, it, it's it's interesting because it right now it's very, very small in comparison. If you look at the over, overall side, I was just looking at some of the latest data, Fortnite, 12.3 million, League of Legends, 8 million. Uh, and then Crossfire and Roblox both at, eight, at at four million. And the one thing that is interesting to me is in with those kinds of uh, kind of legacy games in the sense that they've been able to really penetrate mainstream adoption, the big question I think is going to be how quickly adoption curves are going to take. And one of the things that I think has to be leaned on here for that to occur, as much as I hate to say it, is probably going to become from a whole come from a whole new roster of gamers, and it's most likely going to come from the crypto investors that are in traditional crypto investing, maybe that are casual gamers and are not necessarily you know a full blown all in gamer that might be a pro level or even someone that is doing weekend warrior type stuff. Because I think the adoption side of it is going to need to have two layers of adoption. One from traditional gamers that are starting to say, wait a minute, I think there's an opportunity here on play and earn. And for gamers that are have been very light in, in gaming to be able to jump in and say, this is a whole new way to look at gaming. Now it's worth my time. So I think those are the two factors that would have to come into play for this to go mainstream. I'm still a little bit concerned that this would uh, grow at an exponential rate only because of the pushback that we see from the current industry.